I would like to have a creamy pasta. It's different from I need to eat so I will not die. You will be slow sipping, you know. You don't have to eat out. You can drink out. Eat at home. Be frugal. Still up in the streets on sign. Still trying to get a million and some peace of mind. Free my dog. Free all of my niggas I ain't seen in time. Still up in the streets on sign. Still trying to get a million and some peace of mind. Hey Rumi's, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. My name is Miriam Rumi. If this is your first time on this channel, please do not make it your last time by clicking the subscribe button below. I'm very excited subscriber, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to save money very easily and fast in 2023. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be telling you is to set a savings goal. I know that is really cliche. Everybody tells you to set goals, set goals, set goals. But like, I need to let you know, maybe I need to let you know the reasons why you need to set a goal in the first place. You cannot save without having a Purpose. If you're saving, it's probably because or well, you want to have a certain amount of money at a certain period of time and you're looking for like a means to keep some money aside while you still keep living your day-to-day -day activities. That's what saving basically is. So yeah, the first thing you need to do is have a saving goal. You need to be able to say, I want to save, um, say at the end of the year, I want to have saved like 2 million naira or like I want to save some money for my birthday that is coming up or something like that. Having a goal always makes it easier for you to save because you have something you're working to when you have a goal it's easy for you to put things aside put your cravings aside and just say no i need to work towards this no i need to have this and that's that's literally the purpose of having a goal so my second tip for you is going to be to calculate your income and then divide when i say calculate your income and divide i mean divide and rule <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is that for you to save in the first place, you have to have some sort of money coming in for you, right? You need to have money. If you don't have at least you're expecting it, and you can think, oh, when that money comes in, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That's literally the same thing. So yeah, you need to calculate your income, calculate the money you're expecting, calculate your pocket money, calculate your salary, calculate whatever it is that you get money from, and then divide it and rule. <laughs> when I say divide it, I mean you need to like make a calculation, like a breakdown of what you spend money on, how you are supposed to not how you spend how you're supposed to spend money the amount you're supposed to be saving the easiest way to do something like this is to maybe you're earning 50,000 naira you want to save um, say 20,000 naira and you want to do whatever it is that you do for the rest of your life <laughs> to survive with the 30k that you have left so what you do is you put your 50,000 naira you take your 20,000 naira you put it aside your 30,000 naira is mean you're like okay this 30,000 naira I'm paying bills I'm paying NEPA bills you know lights electricity security all of those things um there's 20,000 naira meaning you're buying um food food stuff whatever it is meaning 10,000 naira for transport and to whole body together <laughs> i hope you're not really earning 50k but like that's my point sha if it is your maybe say your student's pocket money is literally the same thing you want to save this you want to spend this in school you, you don't even have transportation do you have trans i don't know the school i went to we didn't really do transportation like that anyways my point is you need to be able to know your income divide it according to uh, how it is supposed to be not how you do right now because i'm pretty sure for you to be watching this video then you have bad savings so you don't necessarily have to have a bad saving habits but i'm just trying to say you're trying to work on your savings habits. so you need, to, you need to divide it according to how it's supposed to be you need to be able to share your income and then just set your goals literally like the first tip i gave to you so my third tip is going to be be frugal when i say be frugal i mean be frugal sure you see that eating out cut it <laughs> sure you see buying unnecessary stuff buying stuff you don't need your eyes is doing chuku 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 cut 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 everything out be frugal so um i'm not necessarily saying you cannot socialize because the biggest problem for us ladies i don't know if it also includes men but we ladies the biggest problem for us is going out you want to go out and go and eat somewhere you want to go out and go and eat in a fancy new restaurant because of that you're spending all the money you're supposed to be saving what i can tell you to do is eat at home eat a bar eat a <laughs> Eat noodles if it's what you can afford. Eat whatever is going to fill your tummy at home. Then go to where you want to go to and go and take a drink or two. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You don't have to eat out. You can drink out. Hmm? There's nothing wrong with drinking out. There's nothing wrong with your friend eating and you're drinking. That's if you actually have to go. But let me tell you the clause of going out. You spend transport fare. Mm -hmm. When you get there, you buy drink. Mm -hmm. They're miscellaneous. Maybe they splash water on your body. You want to buy wipes to clean it up. <laughs> but like, there's miscellaneous. You buy drink. And then maybe you have to buy another drink because like, you'll be slow sipping, you know. Because you don't want your drink to finish fast. And then the drink finishes, you now have to buy another drink and stuff like that. When you can just sit down at home, on TV, 
If you don't have money for Netflix, watch DSTV. I mean, you must have one or two friends that you can tap into their Netflix though. But watch DSTV and buy Coke and sip your Coke. You don't have to go out. Going out has actually been, um, going out is actually like the biggest scam ever. The biggest way to spend your money ever. Literally, the biggest way. Because if you don't have a car, you talk about um, Ubering or even entering public transport. It's expensive. All of these things you take out of the money you're supposed to save. So in my opinion, I, I, be frugal. You don't have to go out if you do not have to. Like if you do not need to, don't go out. Literally. Do not buy stuff that you do not need. Do not do stuff that is not like, it's not live and dead. If it's not live and dead, don't do it. If you do not have, if you do not really have to do it, do not do it. Like if it is not a need, do not do it. That's literally the easiest way to save. Be frugal, cut out on purchasing on impulse and stuff like that. And you would find yourself that you save easily. For me, the easiest thing that I did was to cut out going out as regularly as I used to. And I was able to save money. I don't need to like buy for as often. I don't need to spend on eating as often. I cook at home, eat at home, you know, stuff like that. Although it might sometimes affect your like social life, but that's where it comes in when you budget, when you plan yourself, when you divide and rule, you can, plan that oh out of this money i'm keeping for food or something i want to go out and i want to spend certain amounts a week on like hanging out with my friends and stuff like that depending on the income that you have that's literally part of my second point that i just gave you so yeah you just have to learn to hold back and just be frugal so my fourth point my fourth point is going to be to know the difference between want and need i want to buy this i need to buy this there's there are two different things. There is a huge difference between want and need. If you want something, but you, if you need it, like you really need it, you are sure you need it, then you can do it. But if you want it, like, oh my God, I, I want to have an iPhone 14 or I need to have an iPhone 14. There are two different things. If it's not improving your life in a way or two, you don't need it. You probably just want it. I'm craving pasta, a creamy pasta. I would like to have a creamy pasta. It's different from, I need to eat so I will not die. Do you understand? So like, if you want it, it's different from you need it. And most of the time you can survive without your wants, but you cannot survive without your need. So know the difference between your wants and your need and stick to your needs and um, be able to say no to your wants. So my fifth tip is to plan and create budgets before you spend. If you're an African, I don't know about other countries, but if you're Nigerian, you know that before your mom goes to the market, she'll carry paper and buy it, and she writes things we want to buy, Maggi, rice, elubo, <laughs> all of those things. That's literally how they do it. They write out what they need. Need though, not wants. Remember, they write out the things they need in the house, they need things you need to buy in the house, and there's a reason for that. They even, my mom goes as far as putting an estimated price in front of it, then calculates it, then says, okay, miscellaneous plus or minus you know stuff like that and then she writes everything out and then she says okay this is 50,000 there i'll carry 55,000 <laughs> that's plus miscellaneous so you get what i'm trying to say there has always been this culture in a typical nigerian home of always creating a budget and a plan like always creating a plan and a budget when you work with a budget you, it's easier for you not to exceed that budget you probably not even step out of your house with money that is exceeding the budget you are working with and it reduces your catchy eyes ujukokoro it literally reduces your your tastiness or your cravings to take what you do not need um when you don't have money you work with your budget you work with your pocket it's just as easy as that so a budget is just the easiest thing to do to yourself when you're saving budgeting is the key to saving that's the, that's literally my own thought my opinion is that budgeting is the key to saving i have like a whole other video i'm going to do about budgeting and all of that so yeah you have to be able to plan and budget yourself because it's going to save you from a lot of things a lot of struggle spending more than you are supposed to and stuff like that now my last and final tip for you guys is to think twice you know how i said that no different thing want and need that's like i want to buy this thing i need to buy this thing and then budget to buy that thing like save money that's what i do so you know how i said you need to have a budget you need to make a plan you need to know the difference between your need and your want when you actually do have a budget you've budgeted to you know i want to buy this i've saved for it you have the money down then it is a need and not a want. That money is still down. No. You now have to sit down and think twice. You know how sometimes you're like, I need to buy this, I need to buy this, I need to buy this. I like, I really need to buy this. I want, to. for someone like me, I've been able to curb my going out. But my problem now is kitchen utensils. Like my eyes are entering everything now. I want to buy, oh, I need this air fryer. I need this, this, I need this, that. I can understand that. When you now save money to buy that particular thing, sit down and think twice. Yeah. Give yourself a couple of days 
and see if you still want to buy that thing if you still feel the urge to buy that thing if you still think you need that thing then you can go ahead and buy it that's my last and final tip to always think twice before you purchase always think twice before you go all out to buy something or to do stuff so yeah that's basically it to save more it's pretty easy you don't have to like choke yourself it doesn't stop you from doing the things that you love to do you just have to be more careful more intent like pay more attention to how you spend your money it's very important to pay this is going to be your bonus tip it's very important to pay more attention to how you spend your money you know how sometimes you can just pick your phone and just go through how you've been spending money like what do i even spend on and just check like track your weekly spend or your monthly spend is extremely important when you do that thing to yourself when you track what you spend money on <laughs> you will you will literally shoot that in like you shoot it in the edge for me i realized that the amount i spend on data <laughs> the, last, the amount I spent on data was ridiculous. In a month, I was spending like literally like 50k on data. I did not make any sense because yeah, I'm buying 15k gig, then 15k gig, then I'm still doing my my small Wi-Fi subscription and all of that. I'm like, I spend this amount on data, like for reals. <laughs> for real so like when you track your spending and you track the things you spend money on <laughs> you realize that some of it is just not worth it not worth it at all and that's when you you know it just makes it easier for you to know where your fault is like where you need to adjust yourself and stick to saving more and stuff like that so yeah um i think that's it for this video that's my little tip for you guys that's the tea that i use in saving um more i hope you enjoyed watching it and i'm going to see you in my next video vlog bye